Hey, Cappies. Danny Moon here. Y'all call me what you want, as long as it's respectful. Cappies, I tried to meditate on y'all, and I really didn't get much. I only got one, two, three, four, five things. Um, so everything that I channel, all the cards, all the channeling, anything I wrote down is not going to resonate with all the Capricorns. And I'm probably going to give you a bonus. And the reason being is because when I first started meditating on you, I heard the word love. So I'm, I was guessing that this was going to be a love reading. Spirit even, um, turned my eyes to this deck and I don't never really use this deck. And this is kind of like a, um, it's kind of like a, a a relationship deck, I guess. <laughs> anyway, um, we are going to start with overall energy. You know, I'm going to say again, not everything is going to resonate with all the Capricorns. Every time I do a Capricorn video, it's always about money. Y'all are like killing killing the industries any industry you in you killing it your money is off the chain and if it's not off the chain right now january february and march the top of the year you about to kill the industry i don't know what you're doing but i do know that y'all have that um money mindset you know what i'm saying so um you're putting it to work that's all i can tell you um, they're giving me the word blessings right now. So let's start with overall energy with the spell casting deck and see what we get out of here. I hope everybody's having a good night. I hope you press subscribe and like um, and help a girl out. <laughs> Um, if you want to email me, you can email me at moondanny, M-O-O-N-D-A-N-N-I, 1976, at gmail.com. If you want a reading, I do full readings, mini readings, love readings, money readings, whatever readings. Um, and I am very affordable. And if you don't mind donating to the channel, that would be awesome, awesome, awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much to my subscribers, to my subscribers now, because you are solid. Y'all stuck in there with me, so I thank you very much. All my new subscribers, press that bell and that notification, so press the bell so you can get my notifications, please, and thank you. <clears throat> Spirit, can you please come in and give the Cappies, Capricorn, um, Capricorn Collective, something that they need to hear. Overall energy. Thank you. Look, overall energy. Good luck. Wow. <laughs> Capricorns, man. Already, already. Spirit, can I get two more, please? Exactly two came out. <laughs> We have finding, finding. Right now, you could be trying to find yourself, your way, find, you're finding, you're looking. Um, and maybe you're not looking. Maybe you're finding who you are because of, maybe because of work. You know, you really see what you can do, what your potential is, what your skill set is, and you're really going after it. And maybe you're making a killing. I'm telling you, all of your videos is about your money and how it's growing. So I love it. Dreams. Are y'all having any crazy dreams lately? Um, maybe your spiritual gifts are awakening and maybe you don't know what's going on, or maybe you do. <clears throat> Maybe you're using your gifts and that's why it's turning out so great for you money-wise. But what's your relationships like? What is your internal soul like? What's going on with you there? <clears throat> Spirit, can I get two more, please? Maybe there's nothing else. <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh. When I asked for for the cards, right, I heard blessings and I said, so can you bring that out, please? And this is what I heard. Blessings, 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 blessings. I love it. I love it. Blessings is coming your way. Blessings is already around you. So just stop for a minute, look up and stay focused like my friend Miss Bieria used to always tell me and be 
grateful for the blessings that you have right now. But Cappies, it's coming. It's coming. I'm telling you, next year is going to be a lot of the Zodiac year. But you are definitely on the top of the leaderboard. Um, closure. Maybe you're getting closure right now. Um, whether it's with an old job or with an ex, I don't really know. But you're getting some type of closure because I'm feeling like it's all about you right now. And progressing in your life the bottom of the deck is forgiveness so with this closure it doesn't have to come like that and it doesn't have to be right now and it doesn't even have to be together but if you are going through some type of closure where you're closing the door on a chapter in your life, this is the end of the year. You should be preparing, you know, preparing for, for the new year, for the new you. Um, closure comes with that, okay? But forgiveness comes with that too. You not only have to forgive others, but you have to forgive yourself. I say it all the time. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you so much. Can we go to the tarot? Let's go to the tarot. They, I, I feel like they really want me to use this. So let me give you some of these. These are overall energy too. I don't know why they want me to use it, but let's see. Whatever comes out is because Spirit wants it to come out. Thank you, Spirit. Can you please give the Capricorns overall energy out of this deck, please? I'm hearing new investments new investments um what i wrote down on this paper i told you the first word was love then i got transition and i put transition slash soon so somebody or many of you are transitioning in many areas of your life not only financially you know um that's either with moving finances mindset a person family friends you're transitioning you are looking deeper into your spirituality and who you are and what's going to be best for you and your family or just you i'm not really sure you got to apply that to your life but i do know right now that is what y'all are doing and i heard the word resonate so i know a lot of you are resonating with that right now um trust your intuition this is the time for you to trust your intuition because you're finding remember you are finding you are finding your gifts you are finding who you are who you really are remember we came to to visit all of us we're just here for the moment we are energe energetic spiritual beings okay and you are finding who you are i love that so that comes with trusting your intuition okay when your intuition is telling you to go left please don't go right please <laughs> okay and let me tell you cappies y'all are really smart you know what i mean y'all are really smart Sometimes y'all a little too smart for your own good, but y'all are really smart. So I do know that um, if your gut is telling you to go one way, you will go that way, okay? Self-care and integration. I do feel a lot of you are working right now because y'all are focused on your money and you're focused on yourselves. But <clears throat> besides, mm, excuse me, besides a Manny and Petty, they want you to do some introspection, okay? They want you to go within, and personally, I do think you're doing that, but I think, Cappies, y'all are going within and seeing what you want to do work-wise and what you want to do to further your family. Spirit is saying, go within and find out, find out who you are, just like the card says, okay? And that, that, that has to do with overall. Remember, these cards are overall energy, okay? So sometimes it could take a lifetime to really find who you are, find your purpose in life, okay? Excuse me. Bottom of the deck, we have joy. I love it. I love it. I love it. One more spirit. Can we get one more? Transformation. Transformation. Can we get one more spirit? Spirit for the Capricorn. Capricorn energy. Dollar sign. Do I'm seeing dollar signs. And I just heard the word dollar sign. Inspired idea. 
A lot of you know, and I, it's not that you know. I'm really feeling like the entrepreneurs, your your business is about to take off. Uh, I'm feeling like a lot of you have ideas. A lot of you are gonna, next year are going to start businesses. Even if you have a business right now, I really think you're going to take a turn with your business, like upgrade it, like a big upgrade. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. And even if you're not an entrepreneur, I just feel like there's going to be like a big shift in your job, in your workplace, or you doing hustling, doing side work on the side, um, something cappies, y'all are going to be bringing, bringing up your bread. But now you have to say to yourself, am I doing this just for the money or am I doing this because I love to do it? Am I doing it because I'm helping other people? That's what you have to say. There got to be a purpose in whatever you love to do, Okay. Look, the death card at the bottom, shedding the old, coming into something new. Thank you, spirit. The king of cups, the king of cups. I got to expand. I don't know what that is, but the king of cups is all about emotions and about the king. You know what I mean? Like, um, um, you're very, if this is you, people love you and you love people. Even if it's sometimes people love you and you love people. If this has to do with work, you know how to um grab people's attention pull people in you know how to do this something about you the king of cups people love the king of cups okay there's no gender in tarot so even though it's a king you could be a queen it don't matter okay it's about the energy and the energy that's coming off of this is um flourishing it, it it's it's um big money um it's um a climax there we go there we go thank you spirit can you tell me some more can you tell me some more capricorn energy please i see it thank you the hermit card the same thing integration the same thing the hermit card the hermit card is about going within and i said that i said spirit wants you to really go within and connect with your soul and see whatever you're doing it's okay to chase the money i love it I, and it the energy that i'm getting for y'all is that the money is big there's gonna be a big shift a big turn yeah your business is gonna um upgrade your regular job you might get a different position your money's gonna upgrade it's gonna be great um but spirit wants you to go within now and and, and see like what's your soul saying you know do you love what you do are you helping people are you helping yourself you know these are things that you have to to deal with and ask yourself as you're ascending <clears throat> thank you spirit can you give me something else please six of cups hmm. let me tell you and i'm gonna tell you how it relates to this um the first thing was love the second thing was transition slash soon the next thing was party slash event slash bumping into bumping into old flame so this is the x card now of course this card has other meanings but the six of cups is mostly about an ex coming back into your life. But this also has to do with your kids, like um, happiness within your kids, you know. Um, six of cups is nostalgia, thinking about the past. So this could have something to do with why you're going within. Maybe you're going within because of this king of cups. Who knows? You tell me. Leave it in the comments. <laughs> <clears throat> Spirit, can I get some more for the Capricorns, please? The Empress. The Empress is a, the pregnancy card. So if you're pregnant, congratulations. But if you're not, this is about birthing something new. Okay, I did tell you just five minutes ago that your, your business or your job is going to be shifting and it's going to be upgrading. Um, you also got the card of ideas. Um, inspired ideas so this has to do with with work this has to do with whatever ideas that's going to be making you money okay whether it's a side project or your regular job spirit can I get some more please Can you, Spirit, can you tell me what this Empress card is about? 
I see it. Thank you. Five of Cups. This Empress card, I asked to clarify this Emperor card and they gave me the Five of Cups. The Five of Cups is the Woe Is Me card. So you could be looking back at what your, your old job was or the job that you lost. Or maybe you're visiting an old job or this old flame or people from your old job or something and you are having nostalgia thinking about the past or something like that and that's what's making you go within or whatever I'm not really sure you have to piece it together but this could be that you're looking at what you had but now you're birthing something new from what you had maybe you learned your lessons and these two cups your blessings because you got the card blessings okay is making you birth something new that's awesome and when i say new i don't mean something totally new it could be something of what you have like like you can have um uh, maybe you're selling tarot cards and you're going to shift your business where you're going to be doing spiritual readings and selling oracle cards. Um, that was a bad example, but I'm just trying to give you an example. It could be something like that. And you could be, be thinking about back in the day when you first got your gifts and you first started doing readings. You know, Five of Cups Spirit is trying to say, look at what you got now. Take your time. It's great that you have these inspired ideas and luck is on your side and these blessings are coming in and the money is coming in. But don't rush. Don't rush nothing. Pace yourself. Think about what you're going to do with your business and your money so that you can make, so you can create financial wealth, like financial freedom. You know what I'm saying? Um, so that you can get $1,000 and flip it and turn it into $4,000. You know what I'm saying? Um, invest in yourself. You have to invest in yourself. Thank you, spirit. King of Wands. King of Wands. Spirit, what is this King of Wands about? Now, Wands is something passion. That This is an energy that is very passionate. This could be a person. This could be you. Or this could be somebody coming back in your life. Um... But this, this energy is a passionate energy. Like, people love the King of Wands because he really, um, he's a go-getter. And that could, that could be you, Cappies, because y'all are like that. Um, and they, they're making me focus on this Blessings card with this King of Wands. So I'm feeling that whatever blessings that you are encountering or coming into it's because you went and got it you worked your ass off you're a go-getter you know what i mean and so you're and you're manifesting that's another thing you're you're saying what you want you're cre you're saying what you want you're basically creating it in your mind as if you have it and it's coming to you and it, you know, what's so funny. Like I spoke to my niece and she was saying about this lady, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And the lady called her and I said, cause you manifest it. You know, y'all are really powerful, a powerful Zodiac. You, you please understand that. But I, some of you don't know how powerful you are. I think that's what it is. Spirit, can I get some more, please? Thank you, Capricorn energy. Two of Cups. This is about business. This is about this is about going into business, finding a partner and going into business with your partner. This could be um, this old flame coming to you saying like, you know, I want to invest in you. Let's open up a shop. You know what I mean? Let's invest in each other. I love Two of Cups. I love this. But I must tell you, any two card in the in the deck two of cups, two of swords, two of pentacles. Most of the time, it means you have a decision and you multitask and you're doing a lot. Cappies, this is another thing with y'all. And this is what screws y'all over. You got too much on your plate and you don't know what to do. You're rushing and doing this, you're doing that. You uh, Slow, 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 slow down. 
okay take your time it's not going nowhere these are blessings that are raining down on you you got the good luck card so just take your time there's no need to rush and something's coming fast momentum these blessings and and you see i'm clarifying these cards so you got the two of cups with the chariot that means something's coming fast fast with business okay something you are going you're ready to take your business to another level you're ready to go into partnership with someone someone that you care about you're really um taking a leap of faith here you really are i love it thank you spirit thank you can i get some more please capricorn energy the hanged man the hanged man means take enough take a different perspective on things <clears throat> the hangman means it has a lot of different meanings to it but like whatever this whatever this is that's coming in quickly right and look the bottom of the deck this is options so let's not forget about that um whatever's coming in really quickly something that you're birthing something new that you're birthing okay that you're going into partnership with somebody okay Spirit is saying, take a different perspective on things. This other, this other person or this other person or this other person um, might have different ideas. But as long as the bigger picture, you got to think of the bigger picture. And you got to think of what's going to further you, you know. Um, but if someone is helping you and they're investing in you and they see, in, they see into your dream, that means... You have to take a different perspective on things. You, somebody, this is another bad example. I'm not really good with giving examples. I'm a little stuffy, so. I'm not really good with giving examples, but it's the best I can do. <laughs> it's like if you see a storefront and you, you, the person wants to invest in you and they want to buy this storefront, but you saw another storefront because it has a different shaping to it. It's in a different area. You might get a different clientele. That's something that you got to take a different perspective on because this person might know this area better. You might have a larger clientele here. Um, the rent might be cheaper. You know, you have to really, you could be a good communicator, Cap Cappies, Capricorns, Cappies. Y'all are good communicators sometimes, sometimes. Sometimes y'all are not. I'm just the messenger and I'm just keeping it real. Sometimes y'all are not good communicators. But at other times, y'all are great communicators. But don't you have to listen in order to be a communicator? So make sure that you are, you listen and you are a good listener first so that you can negotiate, okay? And that you can take a different perspective on things. Now, that's one of the meanings. The other meaning to this card is, is that you are lingering around. You're kind of hanging around with your dream, with this inspired idea, and you're moving on it, but you're, you're not moving quickly on it, you know? But that's going to come to an end because the chariot means something is about to come in swiftly. Something is about to give your, your whole life a momentum and it's about to move. Almost like you might have to move from where you are to an another place. You understand? Something like that. So hanging around and not doing anything or saying like, I wish, I wish, or I think I should, or just take the leap of faith, okay? I said you took the, it, it seemed like you took the leap of faith somewhere else. You know what I mean? So just take the leap of faith. I'm not saying to rush into anything, but take the leap of faith on yourself. It won't hurt nobody. You know what I mean? <clears throat> it's only going to further your career. It's only going to further your happiness. And the reason why I say it is going to go fast. But when it goes fast, y'all. And, and let me give you an example on that. You might have one person over here that wants to invest in you. You might see another place or a shop or another t-shirt place over here that you want to invest in that you want to buy from you might see a, a, a one thing in here that's just for you. options 
options and opportunities. But if you look closely at this card, you see the whirlwind, you see the snake, you see the fist. There's not a lot of good options here. So this is why spirit is trying to say, step back. Get off of this tree. Take a different perspective at things because there's a lot of options out there for you. I love it. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. Spirit, can I get some more for the Cappies, please? Queen of Pentacles. It's always about your money. I'm telling you. I thought this was going to be a love reading. But again... Every reading with y'all is about your money and how your money is expanding. The Queen of Pentacles, you this is come on now. She's making her money, okay? And the queen the the, uh, the other thing about Queen of Pentacles is she's very logical about her money. She knows how to save, have a have a saving account here have another account over here she knows how to flip her money over here she has multiple streams of money okay and if that's not you right now spirit is telling you to embody that that's what you should be thinking right now before january february and march okay how can you bring in multiple incomes with the talent and your skill set that you have right now Ten of Swords, something's over. So this 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 mindset. Oh, but look at what's at the bottom of the deck. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the bottom of the deck is Ten of Pentacles. This is more money than you. This is abundance. This is more money you could think of. Okay. Now Pentacles does have to do with your home life, like who you come home to, how you decorate your house, how comfortable you are in the house, about buying a new house. This is about your home life. But the foundation to this card is about abundance and money. Okay, but then you got the everything's going to be fine card. So even though there's an ending either now or it's coming, it's really to start anew. So don't get, don't get scared when you see this card. It's really to start anew. Again, with the moving, okay people could come with you or they could stay right where they at okay you gotta further your your family your your friend you not your friends but you know the people who love you will support you and come with you or just support you if they don't you can leave them in the back all right that's what the people i don't know why i got the feeling of moving moving <clears throat> spirit can you give me something else for the cappies please two more Two more for the Capricorn, please. Capricorns, I see it. Thank you. Knight of Swords. This is a fast energy coming in. Um, and 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 the, the Knight of Swords in any sword card is either about the mind, like you you thinking about, you're thinking about a lot. You're thinking about should you go into business with this? Whatever this X is coming into my life, this old flame. I'm thinking about. This new thing that I'm birthing. I'm thinking about this inspired idea. I'm thinking about these two men or people, I should say, in my life. I'm thinking again. <laughs> okay, so spirit is saying something. You're going to make some type of decision here. Or meet even many decisions. But something's coming to an end. But when it comes to an end, all the good luck is coming your way. This is a beautiful reading so far, Capricorns. Beautiful. Um, I want to say take action, but I feel like you are taking action. I do feel like you are taking action. I do think you was a little stagnant at one point, but I feel like that is over. I feel like that is definitely over. And, and look at this. Look at the bottom of the deck. The two of wands is about... Should I go left? Should I go right? I don't know what to do. Should I go here? Should I go there? But the three of wands is like, nope, I know exactly what I'm going to do. I'm just waiting for that email. I'm waiting for my ships to come in. I'm waiting for that phone call. I'm waiting for that ride. I'm waiting for some this person to invest. But as soon as January get here, I know exactly. This is a person that knows what they're going to do. See how she has her hand on one wand? This is the three of wands. One one, because she knows exactly where she's going, what she's going to do. She sees it already. She's using her gifts. 
<clears throat> thank you spirit thank you can i get two more and i'm gonna end this right here thank you spirit i see it again capricorns do you understand this is not only options this is opportunity this is opportunity don't let this opportunity pass you by please do not let these opportunities pass you by And I right now, you know what I'm hearing? I'm hearing somebody say, what opportunities? What opportunities? This is something that I'm telling all the Zodiacs. The beginning of the year. The beginning of the year, January, February, and March. There will be a huge shift for everyone. There's going to be changes in your life. I'm talking about in everywhere in your life in your relationship and it, it doesn't have to be everywhere but it's going to be significant changes in your money your work your relationship your family your whether you're moving or not it's going to be significant changes and spirit wants you to prepare okay this is the preparation time we should have been preparing since like before october okay but Things are going to start moving for you right now. I'm, I'm hearing and feeling about a decision between people. Look at that. Decision. Decision. <laughs> Two of Swords. This means, this is something, this card means that you are planning something and you're trying to make a decision on something. Um, and like I said, I was getting the energy that you are... You are at a crossroads either between jobs or opportunities or two people. And and right, and you're fearful, you see the moon? You're fearful of taking that leap of faith I talked about. You're fearful and Cappy's the Capricorns I know. Y'all are not too fearful, the, the ones I know, you know what I mean? So maybe that, let's not call it fear, but something is keeping you in the same spot. Something has you looking at, I don't want to say what you lost, but something has you looking at, looking at what you got which is not much <laughs> you know what i'm saying something got you looking this way something got you got you on this tree something got you blindfolded so you have to make a decision and spirit is saying make it if you take one step spirit will take 10 steps for you okay All right, bottom of the deck is four pentacles. Four pentacles is one, it's about hoarding, okay? <laughs> so if you're a hoarder, please give some of your old stuff to um, charity or the Goodwill, Salvation Army. You know, just try to give your stuff, the stuff that you don't need to people who do need it. All right, I'm enough with those cards. I just want to see what they're telling me. Somebody is missing somebody out there. You, someone's missing someone, and that could be that could be the nostalgia, like you're thinking about an ex or you're thinking about back in the day. That could be nostalgia right there. They're telling me just say yes. They're telling me that you should just say yes. Just say yes. You're, you're overthinking whatever this is. And whatever this is, it's going to be good for your soul. Mm, it's going to be good for your soul. Not just for your body. Not I mean, not just for your mind, your body. It's going to be good for your soul. <laughs> Spirit, can we get an angel answer for the Capricorns, please? Again, right now, they said an event is coming up. You have an event that's coming up. 
<clears throat> I don't know why he had blue shoes. Blue shoes. I don't know. I love blue shoes. I love blue. So, but I don't. Cappies, y'all are very, um, y'all wouldn't wear blue shoes. Not the Capricorns I know. Um, but maybe some of you would. I don't know. The situation will improve. If you're in something right now where it seems a little chaotic or you don't know why it's like this, the, situa the situation will improve. But honestly, I think the situation will improve when you make a decision. It's on you, Cappies. It's on you. Should I say any more? I can't even make this up. Okay? I'm not pulling this out of my ass when I say spirit is here. Five minutes ago, two minutes ago, didn't I say spirit is saying just say yes? I guess you needed a card to confirm it. So this could be with an upcoming email, phone call or something. Something that has to do with work and you got to decide and you're not really sure about it. Spirit is saying say yes. Say yes. Maybe to this business partnership, say yes. Because once you say yes, then you can negotiate or rearrange or move or this or that. Just say yes for right now. Look at paperwork, talk it over, discuss, conversate, of course. Talk If you have a spouse, talk to your spouse about it. Don't just say yes. But I mean, the card is saying yes, and I channeled that. Spirit just told me. I don't know why they tell this is crazy. They telling me something about a bouncy house. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Do you want to know what this card is? So you got two yeses. This is a awesome, 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 awesome read. Mm. I wish I was a Capricorn right now. Now they're giving me the word offer. So you might get an offer. You might get an offer. Um, and maybe that's what they're telling you to say yes to. I don't know why I see a bar right now. I see a bar. A motorcycle. Oh, maybe I see a motorcycle because the chariot card. But I, I just saw it in my mind. Jack Daniels. I don't, I hope this works, but, um, do y'all know what this is, Capricorn? These are, um, spirit, my dousing rods. Um, they detect spirit in the room, so they want me to ask a question. Spirit, should the Capricorns take the opportunity that comes their way? A cross means yes. That means yes. So you got three yeses. You got three, three yeses. I love it. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you so much. Spirit, can you tell me anything about their love life? Can we get something? I'm going to use the um, romance. Can you tell me anything about the Capricorn's love life? I, I really wanted this to be a love reading, but it's always about business with y'all, okay? Can we get single, single Capricorns? What do you want the single Capricorns to know? I think I've, I heard, first I heard free, then I heard freedom. You know that song from that movie, Freedom. So maybe some of you just had a breakup and you feel free. Maybe, why Why would you feel free? You're single, you free, you're single and free maybe? I don't know. But I heard that song, Freedom, mm -hmm. with, um, I think, with Common. Spirit, can you give me Capricorn energy? Thank you. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. So maybe you're in a, in a rocky place, but you have to, you have to tell your person how you're feeling. 
if you don't discuss it, then how would they even know? And yes, it's hard. Yes, you're scared, but you got to do it or you'll be stuck. You'll, you'll be in this place forever. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just you, because you're having a conversation doesn't mean it has to be a breakup. You know, it could be a separation. It could, maybe y'all will work things out. Maybe they'll see things your your way. But Cappy, sometimes y'all are pushy. And sometimes you need people to see things your way. Like your way is the right way. But it's not like that all the time. And if you're in a relationship, um, if you're in a relationship, even though I asked for singles energy, but if you're in a relationship, you have to talk to your person, okay? Now, if you are single and feeling free or something and you're dating, then maybe maybe it's time for you to have a conversation with whoever you're dating <clears throat> um, to tell them that you want to be free or that you don't want to settle down. I don't know. You have to apply it to your life. But a conversation, a heart-to-heart -heart conversation is needed. Um, Spirit, can I get some more for the Capricorns, please? Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So that's what I said. If some, if y'all, uh, if you're dating, single people, if you're dating, not sleeping around, you're just dating and seeing people, okay? There's somebody that your bond is going to deepen with. Spirit is saying, go with it. Just take your time. Don't reveal everything. Don't put your heart on a platter, you know, on the second date, you know. Spirit, can I get something else for the Cappies, please? Too many, but I'll take this one. True love. This is romance of a, this is a romance of a lifetime. So maybe this bond, where is it? Uh, maybe this bond that the card we just got, they go together. This could be a true love thing, but you're going to have to conversate. <laughs> you're going to have to tell them how you feel. And you could be nervous about that or other things is on your mind, like your business thing. But if you want a, a relationship, if you're dating and you want a relationship, this could be um, the one. This could be true love, like this card said. The bottom of the deck is you deserve love. You are lovable. I love it. That was awesome, Cappies. And that was short. 41 minutes? You know I'm normally like 50 minutes. So um, let's give you a trinket. Thank you, thank you, Capricorn Vibe. Capricorn Vibe. Wow, this is too many, Spirit, but I'll take it. Okay, you got um, a starfish. And I think the Sages got this too. So... But they got the bigger version. So that's cute. Maybe some of you are dating a Sagittarius. Um, you got a, the big love heart. I love it. I love it. Um, I don't know what that is. Um, you got this. You see it's like a skeleton. Okay. And this reminds me of the death card. Shedding the old and coming into something new. I love it. The elephant, the elephant, they're the slowest moving. They're slow, but they're smart as hell, okay? They are smart. So I, I would be an elephant any day, okay? Maybe you're in a um, sorority, whatever. Who's the um, elephants? I think that's the deltas. Um, I could be wrong. Sorry, I don't want to offend nobody out there. <laughs> then you have the cross, of course. We already know this is love and light right here. And then you got love again. I love it. All right. Thank you, Cappies. If you want to email me, you can email me at moondanny1976 at gmail.com. Find me on TikTok. It's Danny, D-A-N-N-I, 3 Moon. Okay? At Danny 3 Moon. Hit me up on TikTok. I love it. I love it. I love it. I do a daily pull card usually on Sundays, but I've been doing it every day. So go check me out on TikTok. I love it. I love you. I'm out. <laughs>